So we are going to deal with another inflame, another beam that is loaded with moving load. Here the beam is loaded with six kilonewton pointed load at this point, loaded with seven kilonewton pointed load at this point, and loaded with a UD a UDL loaded with a UDL at this at this of four kilonewton spanning four four meters. Because this length is two meters, spanning four meters. This beam, and we are going to also get the bending moment at this point I at the point I. The so I have already produced the influence line for reaction A. Look at it with one at point A at point A. The maximum value is one. Reaction the the influence line for reaction B with one at point B. The bending moment at at point I, the bending moment influence line with the maximum, they're not only really the maximum because the dotted line is not, but it will help in getting the influence line. That's the value nine, and the value here is five, depending on the position of I and the distance from there to the end, and for example, from here to the end. And this is the shear force, the shear force for the point I, the shear force have been produced with this value one at this extended ends so with this i can use in uh, uh, similar triangle to get the ordinates to multiply and get my the, the effect of all the loads on the so, so start with let's start with roa that is reaction a the effect of these loads on reaction a so the first one let's take the six six kilonewtons the first load six kilonewtons what we do is to get the ordinates the corresponding ordinate to six kilonewtons and if you get that ordinate, you multiply by six, that's all. We've gotten the effect. So to get the ordinate by similar triangle, this is the ordinate here. This triangle and the bigger triangle are similar. So if the bigger triangle, the whole length is six and five is eleven and three is fourteen. So fourteen over one, the length over one. Fourteen over one is equal to the length from here to this six. That is, this is six. This is six and this is five, that is 11. It's equal to 11 over y. So y, y is equal to, y is equal to 11. 11 over 14, 11 over 14, that is, that's the ordinate. So to get the effect of six will be six. It will be 6 times 11 over 14. 6 times 11 over 14 will give us the influence of 6 on reaction A. That will give us the influence of 6 on reaction A. So if I get the influence of 6 on reaction A, that is 11 over, 11 over 14 times 11 over 14 times 6. Then I have seven, to get out of seven, I get the ordinate at seven at this point. The ordinate at that point is six, is the total, this total triangle is similar to this small one. So 14 over one is equal to, this length is six, six over one. It implies that y is equal to, y is equal to six over 14 and the influence the, the influence of the load is 7 times 6 over 14 simple so the next is the UDL the UDL I have UDL is 4 so there are two ways I could do this I may say okay I get 4 times 6 4 times 6 6 is the Okay, no, not six, four times four. Because the, the the extent of the load is four, not six. Four times four. Then times the ordinate at the half of four, there's a two. So we are that ordinate, okay, that ordinate I have 14 over one is equal to two over y. What is two over y? Which means y, y, y is in that case is equal to 
why that is it's important to over 14. So I then times two over 14. That gives me the 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 effect of the of the UTL on on reaction on reaction A. I can also say the UTL that is which is the test is for times the area of area covered, which is the area of this triangle, which the area of triangle is four times the ordinate at this point. The ordinate at this point is is 14 over, so the other coordinate is 14 over 1 is equal to the distance 4 over y. It means y is equal to 4 over 14. I now say, I now add multiply by 4 over 14. That is 4 times 4 times 4. Because the, the, the area, then 4 over 14 divided by 2 because the area the area there is the area of a triangle is half base times perpendicular height divided by 2 that is 4 length times the ordinate divided by 2 you will see that it's giving you the same thing with what is it's giving the same thing with, with what is there because if these two cancel 4 uh, if this guy become 2 over 14 so anyway anyhow it is done you get the same thing so the, we got the, the, the effect, the effect of the load, the effect of the load on reaction A, which give me here uh, 10 kilonewtons. So if you add all of them, all this, you will get ROA is equal to 10 kilonewtons. ROA is equal to 10 kilonewtons. If you add all of them, all the influence, the influence of six, influence of seven, we are, we got here. In of six plus one of seven plus in place of the four four kilometers per meter UDL, you get uh, all of them are A is equal to 10, 10 kilometers. So I can come to R B. If I come to R B, I have if I come to R B, I have I start from six. Six. Six times the, the, the ordinate here. The ordinate here is the length is still 14. 14 over 1 is equal to the length at this 3, 3 over y, which is which implies that y is equal to 3 over 14. So that's the ordinate. The ordinate times 6, the 6 times 3 over 14. That gives the influence of the effect of 6 kN on reaction B. It's not that I come to 7. The ordinate at 7. At that point where seven kilometers is, is the distance is this is three okay, three and five that is eight. That is eight. So, a simple 14 over one is equal to eight over y, which implies by similar triangle that y is equal to eight over 14. Eight over the effect would be seven times eight over 14. So Next is the is the U, UDL. So the way I did before, I can say this UDL times that's four times the distance covered. This is four of the load. Then get the ordinate at this center. At this center, you know the whole length is 14, 2, that is 12. 12 from the beginning here. Similar triangle. I have 14 over 1 is equal to 12 over y. Y is equal to 12 over 14. So it's simple. I now take the UDL 4 times 4 times 12 over 14. I get the influence of the UDL. Or I take the UDL times the area. The area covered is the area of this trapezium. The area of this trapezium. <laughs> Which is, I get the ordinate. If I want to do it, I get the ordinate. The ordinate here is, this is 4. This length is 4 from 14. So this is, from that here should be 10. So the same way, 14 over, over 1 is equal to 10 over y. Y is equal to 10 over 14. Y is equal to 10 over 14. That is the ordinate here. The trapezium, the area of a trapezium is add this to this. That is 10 over 14 plus 1. 10 over 14 plus 1 
Try to do that length. You do that length. Then you cross. Uh, that's four over two. That's the area. Then times times four. Times four. You get the same answer. You get the same answer as what I got here. So it's as simple as that. So when you get them, you add all the facts. You will get that RB. RB will be what? 19 kilometers. I got my RB, what do they call it? 19 kilometers. So I've gotten the the all the, the 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 whole effect of the load, this load on our that's as moving load on our B, on our A. So the next thing now is to get out of the bending moment. Before I do that, let me clean up the board so that I get to deal with that. So it is simple. To do that of the if the pending moment is quite simple. What I do is something. I come here, I locate the ordinate against RC, the, the effect of six. If you watch here, this is a triangle. This is a triangle. That is the length is, is 14. 14 over 9. So that is 14 over 9. Is equal to the length to this is 3. Equal to 3 over y. 3 over y. Look at it here. 3 over y, which means y, y is equal to uh, uh, 3 times 9. That's 3 times 9. That's 27 over 14. Y is equal to 3 times 27 over 14. That is y. So we have got that y to get the effect of 6. 6 kilonewton on the, on, the, on the pending moment. At I, the pending moment at I no longer I will be bending moment at point I. Because this bending moment diagram is for point I. It could be for any point, you know. So for point I, it will be this six. Six. It will be six. It will be six times six point times twenty-seven over fourteen. That is the effect of six on bending moment. So, to the same way, we come to seven. Seven, look at the ordinate here, again seven, at six meters from this end. So simple, I have 14 over five. Look at it, 14 over five. is equal to 14 over five. is equal to the length six over y. Look at the length, is equal to seven, six over y. Which means this gives, y is equal to y is equal to six six times five that is thirty over thirty over fourteen thirty over fourteen so the influence will be seven seven times thirty over fourteen simple that's the bend moment influence here so you come to the UDM if you come to the UDM it's simple is either you now get UDM four times four times four then times the ordinate. The ordinate is at point 12. That's this point here. So you look at the, each of this. This is what we, which we, which we will use. So 14, to get that, we have 14 over, 14 over 5 is equal to at this point. That is at the middle there. Yeah, that is 2. 2 over y. That is from here to, to the middle. From here to the to the middle, two, it is two. Two over y. The whole of this is 14 over five. Two over y. You will, you, if you look at it, you see the right side of the, uh, of the diagram to use. So that means y is equal to, y is equal to 10 over 14. So multiply by 10 over 14. You get the effect of the, of the UDL. You can as well say the UDL, the only intensity, which is 4, times the area. The area covered, just like we did uh, before. The area covered here is the area of this triangle. Triangle, the length of the triangle is 4. The length of the wire from here, here is 4. Then the, the, the ordinate of the triangle. To get that ordinate, we have 14. 14 over 5 is equal to the length 4 over y, which implies 
why is it equal to why is it equal to 20 over 14? Why is it equal to 20? That's the ordinate here. So if you get the area, the area is this is four. That is four. The area is four times four times the ordinate, which is 20 over 14 divided by two times half, the area of the triangle, then times, that is, four is the load, then times four. It gives you the same thing. So you, you've gotten the, the effect of bending moment oh, by the whole load, bending moment at I, by the whole load. So if I add all of them, it gives me Mi is equal to 38 kilo Newton, Mi. Moment that I is equal to 38 kilonewton meter. That's the unit of bending moment. 38 kilonewton meter. So the same way, shear force. If I move to the shear force, I have the shear force. I come, I come here. Let me get the effect of six kilonewtons. The effect of to get the effect of six kilonewtons, I come, I come here. I have that, that the length is 14. 14 over one. 14 over one is equal to. The ordinate at six, that is three. Three over y, which implies y is equal to y is equal to three over fourteen. Y is equal to three over fourteen. So the effect will be six times three over fourteen. If I get the effect of six, six. Like the effect of six kilonewton. Please, why are you doing that? You're checking the sign. Where is positive and why is negative? So I move again to bring, to get the effect of seven. Because at, at this point, this is the ordinate. So the ordinate will be 14 over one is equal to here. Is equal to from, the, from here to 76. Six, six over y, which implies that y is equal to six over 14. So the effect will be seven times Six over fourteen. That's all. Then I come to UDL. I come to the UDL. I come to the uniform distribution load. Two ways. One way is to get the, the, the load and the coverage. The load and this coverage, which is four times four. And then the ordinate at the center. Which in this case the ordinate here is R14 over four or 14 over one. Is equal to two. That's this one. Two. For the one is equal to two over y. Y is equal to two over fourteen. I take it here times two over fourteen. That's all. I get the effect. Or I decide and say four alone. The intensity. Four times the area of coverage. The area of coverage here. Is the length is four, four times this or this, the length at four. The length at four is, to get the length of four, I have 14 over one, is equal to four over y, which implies y is equal to, y is equal to four over 14. So I have four, that's the four as a load, times the intensity four, that's the area now, times four over 14. Times one over two, the area of a triangle. Get the same thing. So if I add all of them algebraically, if I add all of them, I got that shear force at QI, shear force at I, shear force at I is equal to four kilonewton. Kilonewton, that's force, so it's not standing on it. Over four kilonewton. That's all. I've got the effect of all these fluids on this structure on the on the on the reaction on the uh, bending moment at at point I on the reaction A on the reaction B on bending moment at point I and the shear force at point I. So with that, this structure will be designed for for moving load or life load, which is moving load is only life load for uh, moving load. It will be designed. That is that's all. Just that's all. That's just all. Thanks so much for listening.